If you want to be broke forever, you can do that by following the beaten path and living a life that other people plan for you. But if you don't want to be broke forever, I'm going to tell you how you can avoid getting stuck in the swamp of mediocrity with the other 99% of the world who never really do anything with your lives and live a life you can be proud of instead. Following the track that somebody else created for you will keep you broke. It'll make the person who created the track for you rich, but it will make you broke. And there are various degrees of this. The more autonomy you have, the more you create your own path, the higher your income potential becomes. Let's go through the various levels of this one by one. The worst is where almost everything is done for you. So the normal advice of go to college, take on a whole bunch of debt so you can get a good job is pretty much done for you. The same is true if you're trying to find freelance gigs on sites like Upwork or Fiverr, right? You just apply on a website and people hire you, mostly done for you. Or anything else like that where you make money from surveys or you make money for transcription, anything like that where they tell you exactly what to do and you do it and get paid, you can be pretty sure that the pay will be minimal. By the way, this doesn't mean that it's bad and you shouldn't do it, right? If you need money to start up a business, for example, then an easy, quick way to do that is by doing things like transcription or by teaching English or something where everything is laid out for you. Even getting a job is a great place to start. I mean, if you're starving and homeless, right, getting a job is a whole lot better than being starving and homeless. So don't look down on these. I'm just saying that you're not going to get paid very much if this is what you're doing. In fact, I even made a whole video on really easy ways to make money on the internet, which you can check out here. Again, those are not paid very well, but if you need a little money to start up or you just need money to live off of, it's a great place to start. Okay, now one step up from that lowest level is MLM or network marketing. With MLM, you're selling someone else's product, you're following someone else's system, uh, you have all somebody else's advertising materials, you might have other people's sales scripts, right? It's, it's a lot of it is done for you, but there is some of it that you have to figure out yourself. Like you have to go do your own prospecting, you have to actually sell to the customer. So it's a little more autonomous than just, here's the work, you do it. So you can, the, the income potential for MLM is a fair bit higher. And there are some advantages to MLM too. Probably the best of which is that in in MLM, people are actually trying to help you. You have the people that are above you in the ladder. Well, they make money from you too, so they are actually going to help you with their best business strategies because when you make money, they make money. So it is a good way to get into business. Okay, now the next step up from that is to do either affiliate marketing or a kind of build your own business system. Affiliate marketing means that you sell someone else's product online and you get paid some percentage of that as a commission. And usually they're pretty high percentages. And affiliate marketing is awesome because you don't have to have a product, right? You don't have to go out there and build a product. You don't have to have any credibility at all. You're just selling somebody else's product. And unlike with network marketing, where they're kind of strict and rigid about how they want you to sell the product, with affiliate marketing, you can basically sell it any way you want. So again, you're increasing the amount of autonomy, which increases the income potential of doing that. And I actually think that affiliate marketing is an amazing way to get started doing business for yourself. So if you want to learn to do affiliate marketing, there's a course that I highly recommend. I will put a link in the description below. It's put on by ClickFunnels, which is a marketing software, to teach you how to sell their software. And the course is completely free. It is 15 different super affiliates. That is, people who have made a lot of money uh, doing f affiliate marketing for their product, telling you exactly their best strategies. So, so I think that course is awesome. It is free, so check that out in the link below if you're interested. And then the other thing I mentioned was a done-for-you business system. So there's a whole bunch of courses that will teach you how to build a business, like from A to Z. And I've shared a few of those myself on my YouTube channel, including this one about how to build a six-figure business on Airbnb without owning any property. So these are great because you have a lot of autonomy, even though you're kind of following a process, it's up to you how closely you want to follow that process. There's no real rules to it. You can do whatever you want, but because you're following somebody else's process, probably you're not the only person that's following that same exact process, so you have a higher level of competition, which does limit to some extent the earning potential of that opportunity. Okay, now the very best thing to do in terms of income potential, if you haven't already guessed it, is to have your own complete business. Not something that somebody else told you how to do, but something that you figured out completely for yourself. But just because that's the highest potential income doesn't mean that that's the best path for you because it's very difficult to start a business, as I explained in this video. So you want to build up the skills, maybe on those lower levels, before 
before you get to that point where you're trying to do everything, you're trying to juggle all of the different parts of building business all by yourself. But if you want to be at the very pinnacle of income earning potential, that's where you need to get to eventually. Well, based on this framework, you can do the same level of work on the various levels and get vastly different results in terms of income. You can study for eight years in college and get a PhD and be a college professor and barely break six figures. Or you can build a profitable business doing less work than your college professor friend and be making 10 times the income that he is. The truth of life is that if something is really good, nobody's ever just gonna give it to you. And the reason for that is because if something is easy to do, then you can be sure that there are lots of people already doing it. Right? Like going to college and getting a white collar job just doesn't pay that much because everybody's going to college and getting a white collar job. And by the way, when I say the word easy, I mean easy in terms of certainty, not easy in terms of work because a lot of people work really, really, really hard, but they're working on something that is prescribed for them. They're working on something that somebody laid out for them and it provides zero risk, zero uncertainty. So in that way, it's easy. But the work itself isn't easy at all. The truth is that people are a lot more scared of uncertainty certainty than they are of hard work. So a lot of people will work really, really, really hard at a really difficult job if somebody lays it out for them. That's easier for them than to do half that amount of work for a less difficult job that they have to figure out for themselves and they have a risk and they might fail. And that's mostly a matter of pride, right? People are so afraid to fail because they're so afraid to look bad. Pride will ruin your life as I explain in detail in this video. So because so many people are doing these paths that avoid the uncertainty, the more people do it, the less valuable it is. That's just basic supply and demand. So the key is to figure out what other people are not doing. And I'm going to tell you two good ways to figure that out. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button so the YouTube algorithm likes me better. Hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so you get all my future videos. Okay, so here are the ways that you figure out what other people are not doing. You figure out either what other people can't do or what other people are not willing to do. So if you do what other people can't do, you might be a pro athlete or you might be an engineer, you might be a doctor, right? Because most people don't have the physical ability to be pro athletes and most people are not intelligent enough to be a doctor or an engineer. So if you can do what other people can't, then you have an edge, right? You can command a higher income than those people that can't do what you're doing. So that works if you have some special ability, but anybody can do the second category, which is jobs that people are not willing to do. And so this includes jobs that are discussed disgusting, like pumping sewers, right? Or jobs that are dangerous, like doing construction on high-rise buildings. It might be jobs that really suck for some other reason, like working on an oil rig in Alaska. And then the last category, which in my opinion is by far the best opportunity, is jobs that require uncertainty. My observation has been that your level of income depends in large part on your ability to tolerate uncertainty. Like I said, most people are deathly afraid of uncertainty, and you can use that to your advantage. And if you want to learn how to deal with uncertainty yourself, take a look at this video. Okay, now let's apply this to the hierarchy that I mentioned before. If you get a job, like a regular job, or you sign up on a freelance website like Upwork or Fiverr, you are minimizing your uncertainty, right? Because everything is done for you, but because you're minimizing the uncertainty, you are maximizing the number of competitors in the field. And because there are so many competitors, the income potential is terrible. Now, if you do network marketing or a commission sales job, well, there's there's more uncertainty because you have to sell, right? You're not just guaranteed your paycheck. Uh, you actually have to get people to buy or else you don't get paid. But at the same time, it's still largely planned for you. So it's higher income than the, the below level, but not the highest that you can get. And for sure, learning to sell is one of the most highly profitable skills you could ever possibly have. So it's definitely worth learning. And if you have people supporting you, then that's a great way to start out. Okay, now if you're doing a package business system, right? Like my video about the Airbnb business. Well, now you're increasing your uncertainty. You're increasing your ability to make an income, but you're still following a system, right? You're still following my system or whoever created the system. So it's not that maximum of uncertainty, which comes on the next level, which is creating your own business from scratch. This is the highest level of uncertainty. And so the lowest level of competition and the lowest level of competition means the highest income 
own potential. So if you want to be successful, you just can't wait for an opportunity to come to you. You have to go out and get it. You have to be proactive, not reactive. And that doesn't mean that you have to just jump straight into creating your own business. Like I said before, be strategic, right? Get those skills in place. Take those commission sales jobs. Get into network marketing, whatever you have to do. Get into affiliate marketing. Build those skills. And you are increasing your chances of success when you actually start a business from scratch. And you can even start at the lowest level. There's no shame in that. You can do stupid little internet jobs that pay like $5 an hour just to raise some money to pay for ads for your affiliate marketing, for example. And then when you make some money doing affiliate marketing, then maybe you could create your own product showing other people how to make money doing affiliate marketing. And you have your own full business. But whatever it is you're doing, you always have to be pushing your comfort zone. You always have to be delving further into uncertainty if you want to continue progressing. And this is all about learning to be proactive rather than reactive, which most people are terrible at because being reactive is easy. Being proactive is not easy. And, and if you want to know how to be proactive rather than reactive, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll make a future video explaining how to do that. Now, if what I said in this video resonates with you, I also recommend you check out this video all about how you can build up the skills necessary to be successful in your own business rather than just jumping in blindly. And of course, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.